and I welcome you to this very special episode of Learn, Make, Create. You see, today I'm thrilled to be here to show you the knit crocodile stitch that I developed and used in the crocodile knit Christmas tree that I designed for Annie's. It was a while back when I stumbled over some crochet crocodile stitch patterns and I couldn't find a knit version. So I spent days and days trying and trying, doing lots of math and trial and error samples until I was happy with what I came up with. And from there, I started creating different knit designs using this very special stitch. So why don't we get started by printing out the pattern and taking a closer look on this exciting new stitch. So here we have the pattern cover with a close-up of this adorable crocodile knit Christmas tree. It has snowflakes and there are pine cones and everything you may wish for Christmas. So let's take a look at the first page. It starts out by telling us the finished measurements, which will be 24 inches around at the bottom, and it will be 15 inches tall. And then there's a list of what materials you will need. I made my tree with two skeins of Premier Yarns Eversoft, which is a worsted weight, very soft acrylic yarn. And it also comes in this perfect tree green color, but it also has a large range of other options, and you can go check them out at anniescatalog.com. Then the pattern tells you to use a size 8 5 millimeter straight needle, and it also gives us a gauge. So choose your needle based on what gauge you're getting. You can start out by making a little stockinette stitch swatch. And on that swatch, you should have approximately 18 stitches in width and 24 rows in height when you measure four inches across or in height. So make sure your swatch has about the same number of stitches because that's going to make your tree come out about the same size as mine. Then on the second page, you can see how the pattern actually gets started telling you how to cast on and then giving you the row by row instruction on how to make the, the to work the tree. But it's also going to reference back to how to make the scales. And that's what the pattern actually starts out with a very detailed instruction on how to make each scale and it comes with both the row explanation and a little picture to go with it so that should be really he helpful once you get to the point where you're going to make the scales you can read and you can watch the pictures as you go crocodile stitches can be made slightly different depending on which pattern you're using they can be worked over different number of stitches as well as being worked in garter stitch or stockinette stitch Today, we want to give you an idea on how to work the crocodile stitch in general. So are you excited to get started? Grab your yarn and needles and let's head over to one of our knit experts that will show you how to work the knit crocodile stitch. The crocodile pattern is created by working layers of scales. This video will show you the general techniques demonstrating a small scale that starts with five stitches and is worked in garter stitch. Each scale works into one stitch and you work all rows of one scale before you continue working the row. When you come to the stitch in the pattern where it says to make a scale, into this one stitch you will work a knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one. So we now have five stitches in one stitch. Turn your work and we are now on the wrong side and we'll knit these five stitches back. One, two, three, four, and five. Turn. And knit the first two of the five. And in the next stitch, we'll do another increase. So we'll knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and knit one. 
Knit the last two stitches. And you now have nine stitches. Turn our work. And now, knit the first stitch, then bind off the next seven stitches. By lifting over one, two, three, four, five, and the last two stitches. Then to attach to the other side, we'll work the first stitch on the left hand needle and slip it over. Turn, knit the first stitch, then pull and fold the scale towards you so that you have the upper edge of the scale. Pick up along the upper side and knit five stitches evenly along the upper edge of the scale. One, two, three, four, and five. Slip the last stitch on the scale, knit the next stitch on the left needle, and pass the slip stitch over. There's that scale, and we'll continue knitting the row according to pattern. With this help from one of our Annie's knit experts, you now know how to make the knit crocodile stitch and the possibilities for you to use this stitch are many. I hope this demo will inspire you to knit up this lovely tree along with some handmade ornaments to add your own personal style. Maybe you'll even add a string of lights to make it really pop and sparkle. Well, once your tree is finished, you need to have something to hold it up. Something shaped like a cone, which could be a styrofoam cone, but if you have a trouble finding one in the right size, you actually can make your own cone out of something as simple as a plain old paper bag. That's what I did for the photo of my tree, and I will now show you how to make one. Okay, so it all starts with just a plain paper bag. We will also need some tape, maybe a stapler, and scissors. I already prepared here by splitting up the bottom of the bag so it's open. And then let's just remove the handles. Just like that. So now I folded the bag like double, like this, flat. And then I'm just going to fold it together like this, like putting the ends over each other, creating a little fold in the center, and start twisting these papers together into somewhat of a cone shape, like that, or this way. And I put my hand in here and kind of pull it together tighter and tighter into this cone shape, roughly. And once I feel like I have it somewhat under control here, I'm going to use the stapler and I'm just going to help myself putting a little, little stamp there to hold it and then lay it flat. So where 
I have the opening here, that's where I'm going to cut right across. So here we go. Just cut, cut, cut. Just like that. As you can see. Now it's really starting to get a cone shape. And now when we have it like this, you're going to have sides there. And that's where I'm just going to grab my tape. Put a few tapes to hold it all together. Let's see where else. There. And now we have a cone and it's pretty sturdy too. But once you put it down on your table, you might see it's tilting a little bit and you might want to have to even it out a little bit to make sure it really stands straight on your table. And there we go, a tree-shaped cone. We all know that soon there will be another Christmas coming up, so let's not wait getting our tree production started. And once your tree is finished, I would love if you would share your pictures with me and my team over on our Facebook page for Annie's Creative Studio. And I hope you're going to enjoy this new stitch. And I also hope to see you soon in another episode of Learn, Make, Create.